and welcome to my vlog on narrative theory, in particular prop. So this is really useful for GCSE media studies and um, in particular AQA, but it's relevant to other exam boards as well. So prop studied folk tales, which are similar to fairy tales, and he found that they shared the same main character types. So the same character types were found in lots of the different stories that he looked at. And folk tales that are similar to fairy tales obviously are, you know, similar to some of the texts that we have now. So the most obvious example would be Disney films, so films like Cinderella that are based on a fairy tale. So we can see them most obviously there. So the eight character types that he came up with were called character functions and we can apply them to media text, as I've said, as well as applying them to film, we might want to apply them to television programmes. Uh, moving image is probably the most effective in terms of application of it, because obviously you get more of a developed narrative, but also there might be other texts that you think it's relevant to as well. And um, adverts is a really good one, because obviously an advert only has a short amount of time to um, get a message across to an audience. So the character functions that he identified were the hero, so the hero has a quest that he wants to fulfil. I say he because obviously it's kind of a traditional um, theory based on old fashioned stories, so it tends to be a he, but sometimes we, it can be, the hero can be female. And then we've got the villain, so the villain sets out to stop what the hero wants to do and often they're fighting against each other. And then the donor gives the hero a specific device, um, so a special device that helps them, so it could be um, a wand or a sword or a ring. And then we've got the helper, who's like the sidekick to the hero. The princess, because remember this is an old fashioned idea, so the princess is often the reward for the hero and is somebody who needs saving often as well. And then we've got the father who rewards the hero and is someone for the hero to be measured against. And the dispatcher that sends the hero off on their quest. And the false hero who lays claim to the princess and initially we might think that they're their hero but they are unsuitable and they often cause complications in the narrative. So the reason producers use them is that they're easy to understand and recognise. So that's why they're often used in films or programmes that are aimed for children. Because obviously the narrative has to be simple for the um, children to understand it and follow it. And also it's quick to communicate a message. So as I've said, that's really good for adverts because advertisers only have a short amount of time to capture your attention as an audience member and to transfer messages and ideas to you. And also it helps to keep the text low risk and safe so that's really good for mainstream texts because audiences will know what to expect and they'll feel a sense of satisfaction when they recognise that character type. But obviously you've got different characters that help to hold the interest of the target audience. So some repetition but some difference within each text. So it can be applied to most of the close study products, um, especially any text where you're looking at the media language of it because obviously it comes under narrative which is part of media language. So for example in the Galaxy advert we see the character types really strongly or character functions that Prop talks about. So you've got Audrey Hepburn who initially is presented as the princess because she's beautiful and glamorous and she's um, young and attractive. And then we've got the fruit cart owner, who's definitely the villain because he is the reason for the disruption because his fruit spills over everywhere, um, causing the bus to stop. And then you've got the bus driver, who's the false hero. Because initially it seems that he's going to take Audrey Hepburn on her quest, but he's unable to fulfill that role. And then we've got the car driver, 
who you could argue is the hero because initially he saves the princess um, from getting stuck on the bus but then you could also argue that later he becomes her helper because actually she doesn't go into the um, car next to him for example she goes into the back so she's putting him in the role of taxi driver while she has her time to herself and enjoys her chocolate bar so she's she could you could argue that she's using him and therefore she has the power so yeah you can kind of argue there that Audrey Hepburn is the hero or becomes the hero um, but Gregory Peck character at the beginning is the initial hero from saving her you could also apply it to class really easily and that's the set text the television program so April is the main character and the protagonist, so in this case we've got a female protagonist. Caracanus is the villain, um, so that's ongoing throughout the series that he's trying to take over and wants to have power. You could also say that in this episode April's father is a villain that she is um, fighting against as well. But obviously Caracanus, the Shadow King, leader of the Shadow King, he is the main villain throughout the series. And then we've got Ram, who's her helper, her sidekick. He's someone that she can um, trust and rely on. And then you could argue that April's mum is the princess because at the end of the episode she um, enables her to use her legs. So she uses her power to um, fix her legs basically so she can walk again because before she's in a wheelchair. So she saves her in that way and um, she's protective over her as well. So she's protective over her mum when her dad comes into their home because um, their dad tried to kill them both. So yeah, that's it for me now really. Um, let me know if there are any other texts you would like me to talk about or any other theories. And I hope you are keeping well and take care, bye.